Hello, my name is Dan Salvato, and I would like to talk about controllers. As many of you know, there's been a lot of recent discussions surrounding controller mods in Melee. This includes hardware mods, such as tweaking the controller circuitry, or even building brand new controllers. But people have also been talking about software mods, that is, how Melee's controls can be fixed using traditional game hacking methods. Among the many possible stances to take on each of these, the community is still split on how to handle these kinds of mods. However, we discovered that there is a consensus on one fact. It's both frustrating and expensive to hunt down what people consider a good controller in Melee. A good controller can significantly increase your consistency in performing certain techniques, such as dashback and shield dropping. Many high-level players are extremely picky about this, and rightfully so. If your opponent has a controller that can achieve near-perfect consistency, but your controller randomly fails, then you're at an automatic disadvantage before the match even begins. We believe that this unfair imbalance and excessive controller hunting needs to stop, and that's why we developed a solution. We call it Universal Controller Fix. I keep saying we, and that's because I'm not in this alone. Universal Controller Fix is thoroughly tested and endorsed by some of the most knowledgeable and reputable Melee modders, including Typo, Kadano, and Taukon. UCF is a set of codes that allows any controller to perform just as well as what you'd consider the perfect GameCube controller to be. The mod doesn't make any techniques easier, and it does not enable players to perform actions differently from how they used to. Instead, the changes only let you do what's possible with a perfect controller in vanilla Melee. To reiterate once more, the focus of UCF is to turn any controller into a good controller, without going beyond what is normally possible in vanilla Melee. Are there some things in Melee that are poorly designed? Yes, there are. But we want to focus on something that is 100% agreeable, and that is fixing bad controllers. Right now, UCF implements two changes. The first is dashback. In vanilla Melee, having a one-frame dashback window means that we are at the mercy of not just random controller pulling, but also the calibration differences between control sticks. So, in UCF, we are increasing the dashback window to two frames. You still need a nice quick input, but this will allow any controller to dashback consistently. Also, forget about the stigma surrounding previous dashback fixes. The dashback fix included in UCF was meticulously designed and tested to make sure that gameplay is identical to vanilla melee. The second fix included in UCF is for shield dropping. Consistent shield dropping is now available with any controller without the need for notches or having good gate corners. In vanilla melee, if you have a good controller, there are various ways to perform a consistent shield drop, such as the axe or sung method. With UCF, these methods can now be consistently performed on any controller. Note that this fix does not make shield dropping easier. Again, it only emulates having a good shield drop controller. Shield drop methods that are inconsistent in vanilla are still inconsistent in UCF because we are not changing the design of the game. The first version of UCF, including the code and documentation, is available now at this website. UCF can be added as a code in Dolphin, and modders are free to incorporate it into any Melee mod. There will soon be memory card mods that include UCF as well. We believe that UCF solves an important problem that the community faces in a way that can be standardized and without the need for compromise. We look forward to working with TOs to determine the best way for them to run it on tournament setups, and we want players everywhere to feel the difference. We want to end the controller hunt once and for all, so you can focus on what's important, such as getting good. Thanks for watching.